morning traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a great week. It has been a busy week as far as the economic calendar is concerned. We had the RBA rate announcement on Tuesday. Uh, we also had the Bank of England rate decision on Thursday, as well as the non-farm payroll on Friday. So we had uh, quite uh, significant uh, market moves and uh, we have been able to take advantage of those. So I will be showing how that impacted the market, how we took advantage of that and what we expect uh, in the next coming week. All right, so let's get started. Before we start, if you'd like to contact us, you can check out our YouTube channel. Uh, under the description of each and every one of our videos, you will find our contact details as well as the links to our social media pages. Uh, you will also find the link to our website. Now, uh, we'll talk about uh, our website now and our chart of the week uh, shortly. So our next course, if you'd like to join our course, uh, you can uh, purchase the course on our website at elliotwave-principle.com. So this is where you'll do that. So the 6th of September is our live course. This the course is available on the website pre-recorded as soon as you make a purchase. So that means you can watch the course uh, immediately when you make a purchase and you can still attend the live one on the 6th of September. Right now, talking about our website and our social media pages, you'll find our Twitter feed on the homepage there. You can follow us on Twitter as well as on Facebook and the rest of our social media pages. Right. On our chart of the week, this is a chart that is freely available to everyone. So we post up one every week. So if you had uh, come to our site and checked out this chart of the week, that is a US dollar chief, you would have got this trade. So obviously the NFP had an impact on uh, the US dollar. So we saw the US dollar rallying against uh, its uh, competitors in against its competitors. So while our chart of the week was the US dollar chief. So we were expecting US dollar chief to reverse at our projected blue box as follows. What has happened? Uh, as much as we do not uh, trade the fundamentals, we take advantage of the fast market moves that comes with, uh, my, uh, with the fundamentals. So this, is, was, this was posted uh, on uh, Sunday, right after our webinar. And uh, let's see how US dollar chief has played out since this. So let's, have a go, let's go and have a look here at how US dollar chief has played out. So if you had uh, taken a look there, you would have gotten this trade here. We're already about 140 pips up from the blue box. This is how US dollar P uh, chief has played out uh, since Sunday. So this was our chart of the week. We will update the chart of the week for the coming week. So uh, keep an eye on our website there. So that's how the market has played out as far as the US dollar is concerned. We will go through the rest of the charts now. So let's go through the market. Let's have a look at the DXY. So this is the DXY on the four hour. Let's have a look at the bigger structure. Now, if you look at the bigger structure on the DXY, we have been expecting this structure on the DXY. During the week, we were expecting this to be a three-wave structure and a push to the upside. But as we can see that this is all a correction and the DXY is gonna make a continuation to the upside and that will complete this structure here, which is gonna be one, two, three there, as well as one, two, three there. Then that will complete our W, X, Y corrective structure before we get a continuation move to the downside. Okay, so that is the structure that we have, a clear corrective structure here. So that means for the coming week, we expect a bit more upside on the DXY. That obviously means that we, because the US, Euro US dollar is an inverse of the DXY, we'll expect a bit of a continuation to the downside. Let's have a look at uh, Euro US dollar. Now looking at Euro US dollar, Similar structure is the DXY, but the inverse, these are three waves to the downside, three waves to the upside, and this will now be three waves to the downside. Now, last week, what we expected, we expected this move to be a three-wave structure. So we only got this this week. So it did not give us the three-wave structure as we've seen. So we can clearly see what structure this is making here. So we've got this as an expanding flat here. So we've got an impulsive move down here, correction, and an impulsive move. That is the expected move here. So around here, these are all three waves. So this is what we're expecting on Euro US dollar. A clear WX 
Y corrective structures. That means we expect a bit more downside here on the euro in the next coming week. So look for continuation patterns to the downside here on the four hour. Right, so that was a euro, US dollar, pound, US dollar. Let's have a look here. Pound US dollar, structurally, we have forecasted that this was going to bounce from the blue box here, which it is uh, already in the last week. We've already made this move here. So we're expecting this to make a corrective structure here and continue to the upside. So the bigger structure here that we're looking at is this flat correction here with three, three, three here. And we're looking for this one to make a continuation to the upside. Right. But uh, we're seeing that uh, the US dollar is currently strong. So we expect the pound US dollar to make a bit of a corrective structure back to about 61%, 50% here before resuming a move to the upside. So we'll expect pound to continue a bit lower in the coming week. US dollar chief was our chart of the week. What do we expect of US dollar chief has made a clear three wave pullback here. And we are in the blue box. Let's just get my mouse sorted here. We are in the blue box here. We have already pushed to the upside. Now we look for corrective structures for more upside. That is what we're expecting of US dollar chief. US dollar CAD, let's have a look here at US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD has made a three wave pullback. Last week, we showed how we forecasted the move from here and, and a continuation move to the downside. So the focus was for this to continue all the way to the downside, but we only got the three wave structure here. And it looks like we are making another three wave structure, which makes sense because the US dollar uh, is currently strong. So we'll see a bit of a move to our around 50, 61% in the next coming session here on US dollar CAD. Will that make a structure like this? Let's have a look here, but we're gonna take it one wave at a time. We're gonna take it back to about 50% of this move. Right, so that is a US dollar CAD, Audi US dollar. Now looking at Audi US dollar structurally, Audi US dollar had reached the blue box, which looks to have been invalidated. So this is a three wave structure here. Uh, as far as uh, the structure is concerned and the indicators concerned here, we are going to see a bit more downside here with the US dollar looking a bit strong. So we're going to see a bit of a move to the downside. So what we could be getting here on uh, Audi US dollar is that this is actually a pulsing move to the downside. We are still going to get a pullback here in three. So the pulsing move to the downside means it's not down is here so we've got one two three and this one is a four and a five here before we get a pullback so that's what we're going to be looking at here so next in the next coming session we expect a bit of a move to the downside that means we're not going to bounce yet from the blue box right so new zealand us dollar actually makes much more sense in terms of structure because it had not reached the blue box so it is not surprising to see that if we are expecting this move here we have already made this continuation pattern here on uh, New Zealand US dollar. So we're going to expect this to make a continuation to the downside to around the blue box area here. So we have that as one, two, three. We've got this as one, two, three, and another one, two, three. So that will be a W, X, Y corrective structure. So we expect a bounce around this area. Let me just see here if the blue box is projected. So you can see, uh, so we, uh, that is the blue box. So we're still expecting this to continue to the blue box. So we've made that bounce, we've made a pullback. It's making a setup for continuation to the downside. That is uh, New Zealand, the US dollar. US dollar za, very interesting. This one tracks the, uh, this one is correlated to US dollar CAD. So we have made a move, a pulsing move to the upside as follows. This is a move to the downside. Is this all the correction or are we going to see uh, US dollar za make a continuation to the upside? We expect that it will make a continuation to the upside with a strong US dollar, possibly a pullback here to make a flat and a continuation to the upside. Those who remember how we have been looking at US dollar za, we have been looking at this bigger corrective structure for a while. So let me just go back to the daily so I can just remind you what we forecasted a couple of months back as far as uh, US dollar za is concerned. Let's switch everything off here so we can only see the structure. So US dollar za had made this structure here. It made, so we, when it made that structure, we expected this to make a three-wave structure and continue to the upside. So the move that is currently happening now on US dollar za, we had expected that it was gonna play out there. So when it did not play out at that level, then we could see that it was actually making an 11 swing sequence here. So that we got the one second move here to the downside. So when it was here, we, we expected the, a move to the upside and a continuation to the downside. Now making this W, X, Y, X, 
z corrective structure and expecting a move to the upside now we are making this corrective structure how is this going to play out we're going to be expecting this to make a continuation to the upside right us dollar how did we look at us dollar last week let's go to the four hour we're going to look at the lower time frame which is the four hour here let's see how this one has played out this one has made a complex b correction here let's start it from here where we expected this to be a leading diagonal we expected this to be a leading diagonal with the five waves internally obviously so this will be one two three four and a five that overshoots and we expected this to come back down in three waves the three waves has played out with this complex expanding flat here and a move to the downside. What happens after that? Then we get our continuation move to the upside. This is where we are currently with the US dollar. So we had expected this to start making a one, two here. So that's the diagonal with five waves here. One, two, three, four, and a five. Now, if you look at the previous videos, this is how we had been looking at this. We didn't expect this to come and take the low here because this is a diagonal and not a corrective structure. Okay, so let's have a look here. So now we've got that wave two looking to have been completed. We've got a move to the upside. Now look for any continuation pattern here, either on the one or the four hour for more upside. At least we need to take this high here for more upside on US dollar uh, yen. Right, so that looks very interesting. So let's have a look at pound yen. Pound yen, just to give you a perspective here on what we're forecasting here, let's go through to our site here and look at some of the uh, pairs here. So before they are updated, so pound yen, what we are looking for here was for this to have made this impulse. We forecasted this, this impulse from the blue box. We updated this uh, last Sunday, expecting this to make a pullback in three and a continuation to the upside. Now this move, these three waves here has already happened. We are currently here. Okay, so let's go look at uh, how pound is gonna play out. So those three moves have already happened. We've already got the wave one here. We've already got the wave two here. We forecasted the two and we're looking for more upside here. Now the question is whether it's gonna go up in a straight line or whether this is going to be rather a flat, very likely to be a flat correction and our wave two becomes around that level before we get that move to the upside. So very likely that we get pound, yen, pushing a little bit lower here, playing out this structure here, would be expecting pound yen to come around this level and make a flat like that. Okay, so that is pound yen and what we're expecting there. Euro yen, right, so Euro yen, we focused this to bounce from the blue box. So this was the blue box area here uh, on uh, Euro yen. We've got one, two, three here. We focused on this bounce, expecting this to continue to the upside. Doesn't look like it's ready yet. So we've got only this move. And as far as the indicator is concerned, what we're going to get here is a continuation move to the downside. So we're still gonna get this one here. Tagging this low will invalidate the blue box. That, that will mean that we are going to get a continuation to the downside either way. Okay, so let's watch this for the coming week. We're gonna be expecting Euro yen to at least come back around this level. Whether we bounce or not, that's what we're gonna look at when we get to that level. Right, so that's Euro yen, Chief yen. Chief yen has made a pulsing move to the downside as follows, has made a complex flat correction here as follows. This is a flat, nice flat correction tagged the top here and started looking like it's a downside here. So we'll be expecting Chief Yen to make a continuation to the downside here with the, this ABC corrective structure. Will it be only ABC or will it continue to the downside? Now if you look, uh, what I've shown you previously on the weekly chart on uh, Chief Yen, uh, be mindful of the following uh, on Chief Yen. Chief Yen could be ready for a big move to the downside. We've made a pulsing move here. And after that pulsing move, we started correcting with this structure here. So the structure that you see on Chief Yen is a correction and we could be ready for a continuation move to the downside. Now, as much as you know that this is gonna make a big move to the downside, you still need to get an entry strategy because this is a weekly chart. You can't trade a weekly chart because this simply, this pullback here can very well be 200, 300 pips and you can't be selling here and be and let a, uh, and, and take a 200 pip uh, pullback while you are in the trade. So you don't wanna do that. So you want to have a clean entry strategy with a tighter stop as well, that gives you a 
good risk to reward ratio. So there's just wanted to show you that. Now, while we're still on the weekly chart, mind, mind, head here and here, I've shown this a couple of weeks ago that we are currently at critical levels as far as the yen pairs are concerned. So uh, KDN has gone up to this level here and it looks like we're starting to make a reversal. But as much as we are here, let's just go back here one, as much as we are here, there's still a possibility that we make one more up before we drop. Now, which one is it going to be? Are we ready to drop here? Oh, it's going to make one more up. So let's have a look here in the lower time frame and see the indications that we are getting here. All right, so this is now KD yen. We are in this lower degree. So KD yen can very likely just make a bit of a push to the upside, come back down here, give us this structure, one more up and make a move to the downside as follows. Even this can still bounce back up, but uh, let's have a look at how that's gonna play out. So let's wait for this corrective structure, this structure here to build, looks more corrective than pulsing to me, because this can actually also be like that. And if we do that, that means we are still going to see a bit more downside before any confirmation of a move. So let's see how this happens here. If we get this structure here, I will look to sell it. I will look to sell it around that level and make a move to the downside, but we wait and see how that's going to play out. That is KDN, New Zealand Yen. New Zealand Yen has also bounced from the blue box, but uh, that bounce is not impulsive. So we were looking at this one to be a three wave structure here, but this bounce, as you can see, it's a clear three wave structure. So we don't expect this to continue to the upside. We'll expect this to make a bit of a move to the downside here. So we expect this one to play out to the downside. So New Zealand Yen looking downside again this week. Similarly, Audi Yen. Now Audi Yen interestingly has not made a clear Elliott wave structure. This is not an Elliott wave structure. This is not an Elliott wave structure. So we would expect that obviously the yen pairs are correlated. We'll expect a bit more downside. So this one could be playing out a structure like this, which would be a flat possibly and more downside. So we're not getting the bounce yet. So we're going to wait for this structure to play out first before we see if we're going to have a bounce around that level. Okay, downside for the coming week. Gold. Let's have a look here at gold. So gold, what did we expect here? We expected gold to make a three wave structure. Last week, we were looking at this, looking like a corrective structure and expecting this to make a move like that. So we can see now that gold has just made this as a three wave corrective structure and that is all the correction. So we're going to see this continue to the downside, at least back to the 1600. We have been looking at the 1600 since the break to the downside here from around this level. So gold expect continuation to the downside. Silver, nothing new on silver since the couple of weeks we looked for silver to break lower here, to break lower here. So we had the pullback here in three uh, with uh, the NFP news. This is how we got the move to the downside. Now let's have a look at the structure here on silver. Now looking at silver here, we looked at this to be a diagonal. If that is a diagonal with an overshooting wave five, let's just show the five waves here. That's one, two, three, four, five with an overshooting wave five. Now what we're seeing here is a three wave structure on silver. So we'll expect silver to do this. So if that is the case, that means this is A, this is B here in the red degree. We'll expect a bounce here in three waves as well. Okay, just to give a bigger perspective. So I'm just gonna show you the structure I'm looking at here. In that red degree, it's one, two, three. Okay, so that's what we're looking at now. I'm not gonna sh show the rest of the structure here. It's gonna be a bit complex. We're gonna update this S and when it plays out. So this is what we're gonna expect eventually, but we're not gonna worry about the rest of the moves. We're gonna take it one wave at a time. And we, at this stage, we are looking for silver to get back to around the 21, 22 area. So continuation patterns to the downside. All right, so that's what we have there on silver platinum. We have been bearish platinum since it invalidated the blue box, the blue box, which we expected to be here when it went up in three waves, as you can see with the other, with the yen pairs, they, they've bounced from the blue box, but not with an impulse in with three waves. So we expected that to be invalidated. So that is a continuation to the downside. So that's a continuation to the downside, expect more downside on platinum. Brand crude. So brand crude since the three wave pullback, let's go back to 
the structure here. So we've, since we've had this three wave pull back, we expected this to continue pushing to the upside. But as we can see here, we can, we're getting this structure here, which could be still be sideways. That means we are still in a corrective structure as far as oil is concerned. We're gonna see more downside, likely that at around 67, we get another bounce and then downside again. We're looking for this to make this corrective structure here. Let's watch which structure it plays out. That is oil. Let's look at uh, the pound pairs now. Now looking at the pound pairs, pound cat. Pound cat, expect a move to the downside here as follows. We've actually traded this move to the upside here on pound cat during our live trading room. So we're expecting this to make a continuation pattern to the downside, at least back to this level to make this structure here. Likely that we bounce up from there to make these three waves here on pound cat. Pound Audi. Now with the RBA on Monday, we forecasted the reversal on pound Audi. Okay, we forecasted that the pound Audi was going to make a reversal on Monday with this structure here and looking for downside. Okay, so that's how we looked at the pound Audi uh, and we are still on that view that is gonna make a move to the downside. All right, so I can just give you the, a sneak preview here on our live trading room from the 2nd of August where we were analyzing all the Audi pairs uh, in anticipation for the RBA on the Tuesday. So this one is, uh, as you can see here, this is a live trading room from the 2nd of August. So we looked at all the pairs that will be affected by the RBA interest rate decision, starting with pound Audi, just to give you a sneak of what we looked at here. Okay, so I'm just going to narrate over the video because uh, you won't be able to hear the sound so this is pound audi on that uh, on the uh, on the monday that is the monday before the announcement the rba announcement let's just go back up to uh, i'm just going to move it up to around this level here let's go to eight minutes it's just going to take about 30 seconds so that you see that is uh, what we're expecting here of pound audi so let's just go back a bit more here so you can see here, so Pound Audi, we expected that it was gonna make a move to the upside here and that we're gonna get a reversal right here with the interest rate decision, okay? So we are looking at the charts to be able to trade the fundamentals. We're not speculating on how the market is gonna to react to that. We look at the technical charts and you will see that it was not only Pound Audi. I'll go to Euro, uh, Euro Audi shortly. Let's go to Euro Audi. Uh, we'll still do the analysis on Euro Audi. Same thing on Euro Audi. We were forecasting that uh, we were gonna see uh, uh, Audi strength. As you can see, that is a uh, Euro Audi. So Euro Audi, we're expecting that it was going to reverse at that exact uh, level. Okay, we're expecting that Euro Audi will reverse at that level, small upside, showing divergence on the RSI, and looking for that to reverse right there with the news. Okay, 24 hours before. So that is what we expected there on uh, Euro Audi. Okay, so we'll go back to the rest of the market. So Pound Audi, as you've seen, we're expecting this to play out this collective structure and we'll look for more downside here, even though that could just be a three wave pullback and one more to the upside. For now, we're gonna take it one wave at a time to around these levels. That is Pound Audi, Pound New Zealand. Pound New Zealand, what do we expect? We're expecting this to make a continuation to the downside. This is a continuation to the downside on the four hour. We'll see a bit more downside here in the coming session. Pound Chief, right, Pound Chief. Let me just open here the chat here. We've got on the side here. Let's go to Pound Chief. Let's go to the Pound Pass. Look at the members chats here. Let's look at the four hour. So pound chief, what we're expecting here is that we're gonna make a move to the upside. We already have this move to the upside. We're already here as far as pound, not there exactly around 27, 2680. So we're expecting this to make a three wave structure to the upside before we get that drop there. That is expectation on pound chief, continuation to the upside as forecasted here, and then more downside. All right, so that is pound chief and that concludes all the pound pairs. Let's look at the euro pairs, euro pound. Euro pound has got a very interesting structure. We've started here with three waves. We've got this uh, 
complex running flat here. Let's just look at these three waves first. The complex running flat here as follows. We wanted to see a bounce here to make this a three wave structure. We've got the three wave structure. We've now uh, tested this level here. Do we get a bounce here on Euro pound? So let's see here if we're gonna get some weakness on the pound. We should see a structure like this. So we'll have this one as an impulse. This is a whole corrective structure and this one bouncing here as follows, but that will be a continuation to the downside. So for now, we want to see what happens at this critical level. Do not rush into trading this to the upside before confirmation. So we'll wait for confirmation there. So the structure here will be a B C corrective structure. And that is uh, what we'll be looking at here on Euro pound in the next coming uh, trading sessions. Euro New Zealand, continuation to the downside, at least even in the short term, to look for this one to get around this level. Euro Audi, we've already gone through Euro Audi. We expected that to reverse those levels. So we'll expect this is what we expected. We've already got that. So we'll expect this to make a pullback here in three. Euro CAD. Euro CAD has made an interesting structure in the week. This was a nice expanding flat textbook, expanding flat. We saw this one during that live trading room, expecting this to continue to the downside. Euro chief, long-term downside. Every time you get a bounce on Euro chief, trade this to the downside. So we'll wait again for another entry as it is now still looking for, a, still looks like a strong three-way structure. So we can get this one, making a double here. Eventually we are going to see this continue to the downside. So the structure here should be a double correction possibly. So we'll be looking for that to build up. Any corrective structure will be able to track that. Those are the Euro pairs. Uh, let's go to the crosses. Euro Audi, I've shown a weekly structure on this one last week and why we expect this to go as low as 1,02. Okay, so this, we're still expecting that to continue to the downside. Expect more downside, Audi CAD, one of those affected by the news. So you see that uh, we had the reversal here on Audi CAD with the RBA announcement. We expected that to continue to the upside. Now this should be a three wave pullback. Let's see what happens at 61% of this. Are we gonna get this move to the upside? Let's see. Audi Chief. Audi Chief, making a continuation to the upside, looking like a leading diagonal here. So we'll expect this one to push a little bit higher, give us a three wave pullback at least. New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CAD will still push up higher. We've got this as a move to the upside. We've got a pullback. So this is a pullback. We'll expect this to continue to the upside. So the structure here will be three waves up, three waves down, three waves up. A WXY corrective structure around this level will be a nice selling area for more downside. New Zealand chief. Still in this big corrective structure here. A, we are looking for this one to complete. We are looking for this corrective structure here to complete. I'm drawing it with a freehand sketch. So let's see here first if it's not going to get one more down before we push to the upside because this looks like a three wave structure here. So a bit of a push to the upside here. Are we going to get one more down before we push to the upside? Then we'll look for more upside from there. Lastly, on the Forex pairs, we're looking at Cat Chief. Cat Chief, we've got this one as a blue box setup. So we're looking for that to reverse there and make a continuation to the upside. That is Cat Chief. Right, so Cat Chief was actually one of our uh, blue box uh, setups uh, in the week. So let's just have a look at how that one has played out. Let's have a look. So this was posted for members, right? actually blue box trade setups. We've got special blue box trade setups. These are high probability trade setups. Let's have a look here. So Cat Chief, this was for what was forecasted from the blue box. We expected a move to the upside. We are already, we've already bounced back up around these levels. So we're expecting Cat Chief to make a continuation to the upside. We're currently at around 72.81, around 73, and expecting more upside on Cat Chief. Very nice blue box set up there. Right, so those all on the Forex pass. Let's have a look at the indices. 
Now, looking at the indices, this is just a parabolic move to the upside. And we keep saying the same thing uh, with uh, the indices. Every time you get a continuation pattern for more upside, you take it. So this is the S&P 500 expecting more upside. OK, so let's just have a look here at some of the charts here on the side. Uh, let's have a look at the indices. Right, so for our on the S and P 500, we're expecting this to make continuation to the upside. This was uh, in the week, so this said this is the corrective structure that we had, and looking for more upside here. If you just look at the one hour, it will have a bit, it will have a bit more detail on the one hour correction there. So that is what we had there on the one hour on the S and P 500. We expected that to push to the upside, and where we are currently around 42 here, currently around these levels on the S and P 500. Right, so more upside on the indices. Next one is that the Dow Jones Industrial. Let's have a look at the Dow Jones Industrial. Let's look at the one hour. So similarly, you can see it was a similar structure. We expected this to make this wave two here and push to the upside. And this is how the Dow Jones Industrial is now playing out. That was that structure that we expected for more upside. Now expect more upside in this week as well, as far as the, as, uh, the indices are concerned and specifically S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. Let's have a look at uh, the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ here, let's have a look at our chart. Uh, on the one hour, we're expecting this one to build this corrective structure and may give us more upside. Okay, so that is uh, the NASDAQ. Let's have a look here. We do not what we were looking for it was for this to give us this structure here as follows. Okay, so we did not get that. So we can still have this making a structure like this here. And that will still be a continuation pattern to the upside on the NASDAQ. All right, then the UK 100. UK 100, if you remember last time, we forecasted the move from here, that it was going to make a move to the downside and a push to the upside. So we've got all these moves. And since we've got that, we've not gotten a new entry for to write this trend to the upside. So we're going to look for four hour entries for more upside. So the UK 100 still upside. The DAX, the DAX, you saw this uh, entry here last week, one, two, three looking at the DAX to continue pushing to the upside. And we had this corrective structure on the DAX. So looking for more upside, very clear structures on the indices. Now the Nikkei, is the Nikkei ready to move out of the structure yet? Let's show you the, the Nikkei structure as well. Looking at the Nikkei for our structure, we've been looking for the Nikkei to drop here and push to the upside. We are simply looking at this W, X, Y corrective structure before we make a move to the upside on the Nikkei. We are currently here. We want to see if this is going to drop for one more down and then upside, or we're going to get a setup for more upside here. So that will mean that our Y is actually here. That will not change the structure. It will still be valid. Let's have a look here. So we don't have a setup here yet on the Nikkei for upside. It can still give us one more down. Nifty. Right, so if have been tracking the Nifty, we have looked at this to be a regular flat, a textbook, uh, complex correction here. So this is how this one is played out. One, two, three. This is how what we looked at during our live trading room the whole of last week as well. Now we're trending higher, parabolic move, looking for more upside on the Nifty. Right, so that's all I have for you this week, guys. If you like what we do, please drop us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And also hit that bell notification button so that you can get an alert the next time we upload a video. Those that are interested in the crypto video, you can check out, you can check it out on our channel. Have a great week. Trade responsibly. Cheers. Bye-bye.